Hello students. Today in this video we will learn the topic of physics, electricity. <clears throat> I hope everyone is very much aware about this electricity because uh, whatever the appliances or the instrument and the devices that we are using in our day to day life, all these devices, all these appliances, all these instruments are depends on one type of source of energy and that type of source of energy is what electricity. And because of this source of energy only, right now our life becomes very comfortable and becomes very easier. The reason is very clear because whatever the appliances, even you take a laptop, computers, mobile phones, any electronic gadgets, any heavy elements, heavy uh, instruments, all these stores, they are very much depends upon the electricity. Even though we cannot imagine a world without the electricity. That much it has the depth of this electricity and the type of the source of energy. So it is our responsibility to understand this electricity. So today in this session we are going to be understand the physics topic that is the electricity. We will understand the basic portion of this electricity. We will try to understand what this electricity is to be there and uh, what are the components and what are the things, what is the electric circuit. All these things we will try to understand from this electricity. So let us start now this electricity. First of all, we will try to understand this electric current from this electricity. What exactly the concept of the electric current? Clear? As you can able to see, what is the electric current? Electric current is nothing but it is the rate of flow of electric charge. What is this electric current? Flow of electric charge is what it is to be called as the electric current. Obviously, we are going to emphasis on the charge, what exactly it is to be the charge and all the things. But we need to understand first the electric current. So this is how, which means what? Whenever there is a charge is flowing per unit time, then we are going to call as the electric current. And by using this statement, we can have, we have one of the very important formula of this electric current that is the I is equals to Q by D. As you can be able to see, this formula I is equals to what Q by D, where I is the symbol of electric current. Clear? So this I indicates what? The symbol of what? Electric current. So that is what I used to be telling. So then, when we are going to talk about this electric current and all these things, the formula is important, no doubt. I is equal to Q by D, but where? What is the Q now? Here we can write it down simply. This Q is charge, and T is what time. Q is charge, and T is what time. But at the same time, when we are understanding that the charge, I will tell you about the charge later on. But the time we know very well. What is the unit of the time? Time unit is what second and the charge unit is what the coulomb. That is what there is a, the SI unit of the electric current is ampere. Clear? And this ampere is denoted by what capital A. So this is how somewhat related to the electric current. But obviously this electric current when it is flowing in a circuit at that time we want some devices, we want some instruments which measure this electric current. So what type of devices are there? And that device, that instrument is called as the ammeter is the device which is used to measure the electric current. Clear? So it's all about. But how when we are having this device, how are we going to connect this device in a circuit? So this ammeter is always connected in series in a circuit. How this device is connected always in a circuit? That always it has to be connected in what? Series. How? What is the example? How we are going to connect it? It becomes very simple. If suppose there is one lamp, we are having this is lamp and there we are going to connect the emitter like that. Clear? So this is what? So this lamp, this bulb and this emitter both are in what now? Series. One after another. That is how we need to be connected. If suppose we are going to connect this emitter across this bulb, then this emitter is not going to be measured your electric current. So to measure the emitter electric current, we need to connect it in series. Then only it is possible for us that we can measure how much amount of the current is present in the circuit. Clear? But now sometimes there is a possibility to ask the questions in your board examinations also, might any other computer examination, what exactly mean of the one coulomb? Or what exactly the meaning of the 1 ampere? So to define 1 ampere, we have a simple definition that 1 ampere is equal to what? 1 coulomb upon what? 1 second. Now how we come here? It's very simple from this formula because Q is the charge has a unit coulomb and second is the unit of what? Is the unit of what? That electric is the unit of a time. Are you getting what I am saying? Again I am telling you that. What is 1 ampere? It is that 1 coulomb divided by 1 second also can be mentioned as what? 1 ampere. But how we are going to define this 1 ampere? It becomes very simple that. How? When 1 coulomb of charge 
when one coulomb of charge is flowing through a point in how many second? One second. Then that is also called as one ampere. That is also called as one ampere. Which means that it becomes very simple to understand the one ampere also. Get what I'm saying? So now this direction of the electric current, as we know very well, if suppose this is what the electric circuit. Now when the current is flowing through that circuit, what is the direction of the current? Obviously, we wanted to know what exactly the direction of the current, what direction of the current follows, what exactly it depends upon that. Remember that the conventionally the direction of electric current is opposite to that of electron. Clear? If suppose the electron is moving in that direction, then where will be the current that might flow? Obviously, it is in the opposite direction to that electron. Clear? Suppose electron is in the positive x direction, then electron is the positive x direction. And current will be in the negative x direction. It becomes very simple. Get what I am saying? So that is what the direction of electric current is what beta. That is always opposite, opposite to that of what? Huh? Opposite to electron. No doubt at all. Always. It is always opposite to the electron. And there are some of the units are there because sometimes what happens? This ampere becomes very larger unit. That is what the reason to measure a small amount of current. We have some other units also. And what are those other units? That is what beta. What is what? Milli ampere. One milli ampere equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 ampere. And one micro ampere is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 ampere. This is how they are the smaller units used to measure what? Electric current. Clear? Milli ampere and micro ampere. This is all about the electric current. Now, just now we have seen that electric current has one word that is called the charge. Now, let us focus on that charge. What is this to be the charge? It is to be called as. Then, this charge is denoted by capital Q. Clear? What is the charge now? Flow of electrons is called a charge. Again, you just need to be focused on this concept that is the flow of electrons is what it is to be called as the charge. So, now, where does this electron is going to be flow? Might be flowing through the material or any wire or through any conductor clear so when this electron is flowing then only we are having a concept it is to be called as the electric current so then this charge has two types one is called the positive and the second one is called as the negative clear now if you if you brought two positive charges closer what will happen they will repel with each other clear and similarly when you brought two negative charges closer again they will repel but when you bring, when you brought positive and negative charges together, then there will be the attraction with that, which means what? Both the charges will attract towards each other. Clear? So, which means that the charges has repulsive properties as well as what? Attractive property. When it is attractive pro property, when there are unlike charges. And when there is repulsive pro uh, property, when there is like charges. Like means what? Positive, positive. Negative, like negative. Unlike means what? Positive, negative. <coughs> okay? So this charge has one rule. Because of that rule only, sometimes we used to say that the charge neither be created and nor be destroyed, but it can be transferred one body to another body. Isn't it? That is what the thing. Clear? So this quantization of charge, there is one rule. And according to this rule, what the charge is there? The charge is always n into E. Where this n is called as the integer and this E is called as the charge on electron. Now this integer may be what? Plus or minus? Plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and beta so on. Clear? So integer may be something. Maybe it is minus and maybe it is plus. It doesn't matter. Clear? Because it's a number. That's what we are um, giving a name as an integer. But what about the charge on electron? As we all are very much know that electron is a negatively charged, and the charge on electron is equal to how much? 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb. Again, what you can might you are able to see that that the unit of the electron is what that the charge of charge of the electron is what coulomb clear that is what the reason the si unit of charge is also what beta coulomb symbolically it is denoted by what as capital c as the electric current is symbolically denoted by what capital e clear so then sometimes maybe they are going to ask what is the one coulomb which means that if suppose there is any one point and through that point how many electrons are passing 6 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons kitane kitane 6 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons when they are passing through that point then it is to be called as what one coulomb of charge is present at that point koi bhi charge kahi par bhi ho 
clear whatever the point if suppose this is i'm going to consider this one there is one point and through that point if suppose how many number of electrons are passing 6 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons if they are passing from this point then at that point how much amount of charge is present one coulomb clear so that is what the concept it is to be called as the one coulomb hope you understood what exactly the concept of the electric current as well as the charge it is to be there obviously there is one device which is used to measure the charge named as electroscope electroscope is used to measure the charge and so related to the charge and electric current we will see some of the examples one example is here just go through this a current of 0.5 ampere is drawn by a filament of an electric bulb for 10 minute find charge that flows through the circuit obviously some amount of current is mentioned as well as what it is given time is given clear so first of all here we need to be write down what is given in the question clear what is given now current is given how much 0.5 ampere and time is given that is what 10 minute how much is the time 10 minutes so 10 into what 60 Equal to how much? 600 second. Why I am doing this? Because we wanted to be convert that minute into what second, and to calculate the charge, what is the formula? Therefore, Q is equal to I into T. What is the I? 0.5. What is the T? 600. Now just do the calculation. 5 six up 30, and there is a point. So these two zeros are there, so which becomes what? Q is equal to 300 coulomb. This much of the charge is present. Is it clear? Is it it? So Q is equal to how much? Three hundred coulomb. Okay. Related to the charge and electric current, we will see more examples. This is the next one. Calculate the number of electrons constituting zero point one coulomb of charge. Which means what? In this example, we wanted to calculate the number of electrons the charge constituted by how much? Zero point one coulomb. That is what number of electrons. Now the question is here: How do we calculate the number of electrons? Hope you are remembering. We have seen one formula in case of the charge. That is the quantization of charge. Q is equals to n. So that n is what is integer. Also, which gives us the value of number of electrons present. Clear? So to proceed this example, first of all we will write given. What is given, sir? Obviously, charge is given. Q is equals to point one c. What is to be calculated? Yen. What does it mean? Number of electrons. Then, yeah. so then, what is the formula? Q is equals to what? Yen e. How do we calculate yen? Yen is equals to what? Q by e. How much is the Q, sir? Q is one zero point one. That is how much? Zero point one. And how much is the e? E is equals to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. Already we have seen when uh, while learning this concept, Q is equal to here. Here is the integer and is the charge of electron. Approximately we will get the answer of this. That is 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. Please you to calculate. This is what we will get the answer. Very well done, sir. So this is the answer. This is the number of that much of the number of electrons are present when it constitutes of how much charge? 0.1 coulomb of charge. Clear? Very good. Similarly, we will try to understand the next example. If a current of 0.1 ampere, what is given? Current is given. Flows through a conductor. Is it through? Jara? Conductor is through. Jara? What it is to be asking? Find the number of electrons. Again, the number of electrons in the case one. Clear? And crossing the area of cross section, which means that area of cross section is what? If suppose this is what the area through that, how many electrons are passing? That is what exactly it is to be called. The how many number of electrons are crossing that area at a given point per second. Time is also mentioned. Per second is what time is given one second. Now the second case they are asking to calculate the flow of charge, isn't it? For one hour. First of all, we write what common is given. The example says that current is given. I is equals to zero point one m. Now there are two cases are there. What is the first case? The first case says that we need to calculate yen. Clear. And time is given how much? One second. Is it it? To calculate yen, use this formula. Q is equal to yen. But what is the Q? I T. 
is equals to what n e. But what is we wanted to calculate n? So n is equals to what i t divided by e. Now what is i? How much is the i? I is given here zero point one. How much is the t? T is given again one second here. Huh? And how much is the like uh, e? One point six into ten to the power of minus nine. We just compare this this one and this one. Same. So you get the same value. How much? Six point two five into ten to the power of eighteen electrons. So how much number? How many number of electrons are there? Six point two five into ten to the power of eighteen electrons. Now second one, calculate the charge. Second case, Q is equal to how much? When time is given, how much? One hour. One hour equal to how much? That is three six double zero second. How to calculate this? Q is equal to I T. अब I कहाँ से लाएंगे? I is given point one. So therefore, Q is equal to zero point one into three six double zero, which gives us the answer three sixty. Any problem? This is what happens. Clear? It's very good.